Hello, welcome back, or welcome to DIS. I am this idiot, and you're hearing me speak again, or for the first time. Whichever it is, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am glad to see you, or, yeah, whatever, see you here. Whatever, however you want to uh, put that. And today we're going to do some lore crafting around the uh, common magic item that I reviewed on Wednesday, uh, which is the common magic item, wondrous common magic item of the goblin wheat, which is basically a re-flavoring of um, a common potion of healing that it's a weed that you, is used by goblins to heal wounds. Uh, you can use it as a, they can use it as a tea or a paste, and it heals a 2d4 plus 2, and it's easily found. Um, that's all it's told. Um, so doing some lore crafting around it. Um, it's a very fun little simple um, magic item. And let's see here. Um, yeah, so lore crafting around it. I do not know. It does something to think. Some things to think about um, is where, like, what environment. Um, uh, what environment do you uh, do is, is this found? Is this found in the forests, in the grasslands, in the swamps, in the Arctic, in the desert, underwater, um, in the mountains, um, on the coasts, um, all those different environments? Where is it probably? Where other things are found? So probably like grasslands and forests. Maybe some swamps, um, maybe some fertile coastlands. I don't know. Um, something good, uh, something to think about. <coughs> um, and let's see here. Um, because this weed is something that is used to heal, then it is important that uh, it is plentiful, or if it, it can be plentiful. Then, uh, then not just goblins, but uh, maybe goblins find it, and then um, adventurers find that they the goblins have this and are looking it for it for themselves, and that could be a whole thing, lower level thing, and then from there maybe they are saving a town, and the town realizes that this weed is helpful, and so they are starting to harvest it for themselves. And then, depending on the common commonality of goblin weed, maybe there's more people that are um uh well there are, uh other the maybe more people find it and use it for their own gain um mainly to heal of course and maybe there are some wizards who are trying or people who are trying to figure out what other part how to uh, other ways to use this. And, like, maybe it's, since it's more common than, um, uh, commoners and farmers and, um, guards and everything, they, they use it. It's maybe, it's less expensive than potions of healing, so, um, and they can find it themselves, so that's fun. Um, so maybe, yeah, they can find it and then, um, that makes... It, um, maybe that makes productivity better because, um, it heals wounds, and so if someone got into an accident, like a farming accident, you can just, uh, brew the tea for them or use it as a poultice, and it just re-knits, uh, helps invigorate the, um, healing process and make it faster so that people can do farming better or farming more often and they don't have to be as careful, um, which would be cool. Um, let's see here, what else? What else would work with this? Um, of course, druids would have it and they would probably use it to heal um, any animals they come across, the beasts that are under their care, probably same with rangers. Um, and maybe, it becomes like you know, almost not a commodity but like a rarity in like cities and capitals and stuff because um, this weed maybe they 
they don't know how to, like, um, they're trying to figure out how to grow it themselves, and maybe it can't be for whatever reason. And so, in more urban areas, they stick with the potions of healing, but in more rural areas and farming communities, they, they look around for it all the time and they dry it for the teas and everything. Um, let's see here, of course this is a short one, um, with a short little uh, magic item dealio. Um, let's see here, the next one is... It is called the Griffin's Feather, another wondrous item, an uncommon one. Um, a Griffin's Feather, and we'll figure out what the magic, uh, that is with that is on Wednesday. That should be fun. Of course, uh, keeping your mind, my sister's D&D inspired bar idea, whenever that comes out. Comment below any lore you would craft around this simple, common magic item. Um, and let's see here what else. Um, of course, my different streamings, uh, of Neverwin uh, or yeah, Neverwinter on Wednesdays, kind of getting through that. Um, probably like halfway done, maybe. I don't know, maybe more. I don't know. And then so that, and then Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, getting very close to being done with that, which should be fun. And then I'm gonna go to Lego Indiana Jones, which is another older game. I kind of yeah, which should be fun. And then going from there. We'll figure it out. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, previous episode, channel subscription, like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Um, my Discord server is in the uh, uh, in the description below if you want to join that. Kind of talk about this. Um, I am going back and forth of like doing some streaming of a of a D and D game maybe once things go up. Um, of course, with my school kind of busy with that, um, but that's fine. Uh, we can talk about that in the Discord server or wherever. Um, anything else? Not that I can think of. Um, channel, uh, previous episode, channel subscription, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video uh, with the Griffin's Feather Uncommon Magic item. I'll see you guys then. This idiot, out.